What's going on everybody? I'm Spencer Tillis. I'm Trayvon Miles. And this is the Delmarva Sports Insider coming up in just a bit in today's episode. The state playoffs rolled on in Maryland as Queen Anne's looked to punch their ticket to the state title game as they took on Williamsport. But could the Lions keep their Cinderella run going? That is exactly right. And hello up the South Boys champs in lacrosse. Delmar getting their try up hand against the North. Highlights of their playoff opener against Archmere. Plus, it was the first round of the state playoffs today in softball over in Delaware. Sussex Central take on Lake Forest. And one word described the day, and that is upsets. We're going to have highlights in just a minute. But first off, it is Memorial Day weekend, mm -hmm. so we got to say a huge thank you yes. out there to all the yes. servicemen and women. It's most important. The reason we get to do shows like yes. this, have the opportunity to go out there, is the freedom that you know they really yep. give us by doing so. A big thank you out there to everybody. everybody yes. And one of those great American pastimes, of course, would baseball. be baseball. <laughs> of nothing else, Very and good. apple pie. Can't forget apple Very pie. Good. Very St. Good. Michael's. Uh -huh. They have the throwback jerseys. I mean, they got everything that says yep. St. Michael's or it says America, really. And they had a tough battle going on this week. State semifinals take on Brunswick, yep. and that was on Tuesday night. And boy, did the Saints, well, they got <laughs> out to a little bit of a slow start right here. Tyler Eberts singles to center, and that's going to score Connor Keene as all of a sudden they opened up a 5-0 lead by the end of the second inning. But back come the Saints. It's Seth Parks. He gets it started with a sack fly that scores Devin Stanford. And then shortly after that, Stanford's going to go ahead and show that he can get it done at the plate as well. Slaps this one to left as Noah Brack rounds the bags and just slides in, just slides in under that tag right there. <laughs> Makes it a one-run ball game to the sixth we go. And Trent Saunders draws the bases loaded walk. And the Saints fight all the way back to tie this thing up after Risher scores right there. So we go to extras. But this is when this would happen. John Harding here sends one deep to center, deep enough for Andrew Wagner to tag up and score on the play. And the Saints end up dropping a tough one, six to five mm. in mm. nine innings of a state semifinal game. Yeah. And that tough is way to go. tough. And yeah. that, you know what? After watching Colonel Richardson lose in the first round, I really thought Saints had a clear road. And you think about this. I mean, they were down five nothing up too. You take away those yeah. first two innings of slow start. Yeah. They dominated yeah, yeah, that entire they game. They did. It's tough to see it go out like this, but the fact is, when you look at that roster, their entire infield, none of them are seniors. Really? In the outfield, they have one senior. Mm -hmm. They really have a lot of sophomores, not even just juniors. Mm -hmm. I mean, this team is young. They're not going anywhere. They're going to have a chance to get back there. Thing is, you say that with some teams, and it's tough because you only really get that opportunity. We thought Colonel would be there this year. So yeah, yeah. when you get that opportunity, you want to seal the deal, but a tough, like tough you, way like, to end I the season. I think, like you said, uh, St. Michael's is one of the youngest teams in the league. And they also happen to be one of the best teams in the league. Yeah. So a bright future coming on, you know what I mean? So nothing to hold their heads on as well at all. Well, we just looked at the 1A matchup. Now we're going to the 2A matchup. Queen Anne's had an opportunity to advance to the state championship game, taking on Williamsport. And I tell you what, it was a rough start for Queen Anne's as well. Bryce Ruppenthal of Williamsport is going to get all of that one. That one is over the fence and not playable. Three-run home run to left center. Wildcats still getting it going. Caden Keplinger going to hit one to shallow left. That is going to drop in as well. Ryan Green scoring on that play. Fourth inning, Rupenthal added again. A little bloop right here to center. That's going to get in there as well. It's going to score on a sack fly to score Bryce Byers. 7 nothing right now, Williamsport. Queen Anne's doing what they could to stay in this one. Mm. Aaron Ravenhold going to get back-to-back -back strikeouts right here. Great job by him, but it just was not the Lions day. Justin Taylor with the RBI line drive there. Queen Anne's dropping one, 9 to nothing the final. And I'll tell you what. Besides that game right there, really remarkable what this team has been able to do. You know, last year they knocked out Parkside, yep. who, we, who we we thought definitely was going to win the state championship game. I did again this game. year. And thought again this year, uh, but you know they didn't. But they don't get a lot of buzz during the regular season, Queen they Anne's, don't. does it? They never, we never really talk about them. But I just have to say, come playoff time, these guys know how to get it done. And kudos to what they've been able to do for this program these last couple of years. And across the sports, I mean, they have a lot of the same athletes in yep. baseball or in basketball where they did the same thing the last couple of years, pulling yeah. off those pulling upsets, people, yeah, making some runs. Yep. And, you know, they are tough out definitely yes, when it comes always. to playoff time. Well, speaking of playoffs, they are baseball playoffs underway right now over in Delaware as well. Mm -hmm. Dover, well, I got to see their first round game. Well, they had a tough second round yep. matchup trying to advance to their fourth straight state semifinals as they were taking on Archmere, but it would be all Ox early on here. Joseph Singley rips that one up the middle to drive in Andrew Orzel. And then, well, Dover is going to go ahead and look for the answer. And Dimitri Floyd is going to give it to him. Then rips this one deep to left center right there. That's good for an RBI base knock as Chris Webb rounds the bases. Then Archmere up two now before this happened. Bases juice. Devin Thompson, <laughs> useful. Finding a lot of 
of space out there and right. The reruns come in. Garrett Luss and Jared Hickox as well as Webb, but Archmere not going away. They made a game of this thing. Thai Watson slaps his left. Patrick McVeigh comes in to score, but the Senators would play four runs in the last five innings of the game. Or last come two back. innings, I should say. Battled all the way back. Dover advances to the state semifinals, 9-8 to eight the final. And Kate matched up against top-seeded St. Mark's. Mm. Spartans <laughs> striking first in this one. Andrew Reich oh. hitting a chopper to second. Fielder can't handle it. Tyler Kazmark coming in to score, but back come the Vikings right here. Zach Geloff hitting one to shallow center. That's going to drive in Zach Dale and Drew Mulcahy to tie this game up. St. Mark's the one seed for a reason. They respond. Matthew Theodorkis, he's going to find the gap out in left center. Reich and Brian Gillardi going to come on in as they go back out in front. Cape trying not to go away here. Austin Elliott hitting one deep to the wall. Thomas Hefner and Geloff. Going to come around and score, but they could not get over the hump. William Sullivan with the strikeout here as Cape ends up dropping this one 12 to 6 to final. Some really good TV names over there. Well, <laughs> Sussex Tech looking for their second straight upset take on Middletown and a slow start there for the Ravens. Colin Palouse plates Alex Weaver there to make it 5 to nothing. Tech now looking for the answer in 6. Take a look at this. Base is loaded. The comebacker to the pitcher. He goes home. The catcher drops the ball. It looks like Cole Collins scores. Well, he would get <laughs> rung up. The third base coach uh, didn't necessarily like the call. He got the early curtain oh, ball as home. well as Orlando Kelly. Just a man sitting in the dugout for no reason. Deep traffic. The Ravens still <laughs> fighting though. Seventh inning now. Justin Hill hits a chopper to third. That's good for an RBI fielder's choice scoring Trent Hearn. But it was not enough as the ground out here would end it. The Ravens see their season come to an end. Eight to two the final over there. Wow, what a game. And like you said, we thought Sussex Tech had the juice. You know, they've they been did. playing great all season long. Thought they would obviously make a little bit run in the tournament. But obviously, you know, those upstate teams might be a little bit different story, you know, playing with those guys. But we're going to find out tonight. Dover got a chance we'll to try to find make a out move. and see what Dover can do in these finals later on tonight. All right, keep it here, guys. We have plenty to go. When we come back, we're talking Gatorade. Brooke Beam is in the house. Water we're talking better. IR soccer and more coming up next. We are the Mardella Warriors baseball team, and you're watching the Marvel Sports Insider.